up. This is your general reading for December 1st through the 15th. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a general reading, so I'm not going to be focusing on any one thing in particular. We'll just see what comes out. If you are looking specifically for a love reading, they're already posted. Just go check out my channel. All right, so your overall energy. Um, I pull Mother Mary Oracle as well as regular tarot, and the overall is always for the person that I'm reading for. Now, whether that's you, Libra, or you cross-watch or whoever's watching this video, that is the energy you're taking on during these two weeks. Everything else here is interchangeable, okay? All right, let's get started with our Mother Mary. Our Lady of Radiant Grace. All right, it's number 33, FYI. Like an animal that has been wounded and must learn to release aggression and trust in order to know love and tenderness, we too must learn how to trust again and again. The nature of modern culture is that it tries to kill the soul and break the spirit. We are pushed and prodded into fitting into stereotypes, humbled into believing we are not enough just as we are, and manipulated into believing we must buy our way into status in order, in order to have worth. The body is humiliated by comparisons and judgments, and the spirit is derided by beliefs that if you cannot see or touch it physically, then it isn't real. You aren't in the real world if you believe in spiritual matters. And you are delusional and naive if you aim to live from love rather than from scarcity. This is part of the test of being human. We were born to rise above these humiliations and disparagements to become stronger than them, wiser than them. In doing so, we help liberate others as well, showing the way, a more authentic and healing way to live. We were born not to fear our bodies and deny our spirits, but to love the earth and fly with the wings of the Holy Mother's grace. Even with powerful and marvelous wings upon our back and the perfect current in the air through which to soar into freedom and exhilaration, if we do not trust enough to leap, all that comes to nothing. To live into our divine destiny, which is so much nobler, more compassionate, kind, emotionally rich, creative, rebellious than modern culture would have us believe, we need to trust. We need to trust that we are enough and that we are worthy of receiving. This is not some misplaced sense of entitlement or belief that the world owes us or that the suffering of others only matters when we have our own needs met. The spiritual grace of the Holy Mother does not revolve around immature tantrums of thwarted egos. The ability to receive what this oracle speaks of requires the genuine heart-centered realization that the divine lives and breathes as us and wants to come into full expression through all that we are, unique talents and quirky visions included. For this trust to manifest and for us to be free from self-imposed prisons that would lock us into fearful doubt and confusion, we need the radiant grace of Our Lady. That radiant grace is sunlight cutting through the cloud and illuminating the earth in golden light. That grace is the joyful gasp that erupts from your lips when you, wif when you witness a spontaneous, beautiful moment in the natural world. This oracle comes to you at a time when, whether you are conscious of it or not, a greater spiritual embodiment is upon you. This will take great courage to accept. You will not necessarily feel in control or understand some of the changes in relationships and life circumstances that happen as a result of this greater divine presence manifesting within your being. These changes are manifesting through the Mother's grace to allow for you to be free. Remember that freedom does not mean being alone. Freedom comes with a sense of living your destiny without obstruction. That will include having deep and connected relationships that feed and nourish the soul. All right, guys. That was cool. All right, now let's get on to your um, tarot. So your overall energy, guys. You have the five of swords. This is your energy as well as Gemini and Aquarius. This is conflict, guys, but it's petty conflict. It's like harsh communication, criticism, judgment, um, and I think it might be you maybe kind of being critical of yourself with this oracle, you know, next to it. I think it might be that you're just kind of being really judgmental towards yourself. But we'll see. We'll see what comes out. Let's clarify. Clarify the Five of Swords for Libra. Clarify the Five of Swords for Libra. Oh, the five of wands reverse. All right. Um, so part of you wants to engage, part of you doesn't. You're having some really conflicted 
thoughts, judgments, beliefs, like there's something really happening here for you and you're really like internally conflicted about it. Let's see if I can find out what it is. Clarify the five of wands and five of swords for Libra. The three of wands reverse. Okay, so fire energy, by the way, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, the Three of Wands reversed is not looking ahead towards the future. It's not preparing for the future. It's like kind of like giving up. Like you don't see a future in a certain situation in your life. Um, probably because there's so much conflict around whatever it is that you're just kind of like giving up on it. Um, and I'm not sure what the situation is for you. If it's a relationship, if it's a job if it's just something that you're doing in your life, it's like, you're just kind of tired of, um, tired of having to compete, maybe. So you're just not gonna, you're just not gonna do anything. You're like, just kind of giving up. So that sucks. We'll see though. All right, your recent past is the shadow side. This is the, also the devil card. This is Capricorn energy. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn in your life. You don't have to be, though, but that is one that you want to see reversed. It's coming out of something that's toxic. It's like, whether it's a toxic relationship, a toxic job, a toxic family situation, toxic behavior pattern, addiction, whatever it is for you, it's, it's you're coming out of that. It's like a, you're not going to be bound to a certain toxic situation anymore, and you're trying to not live like in a fear-based kind of way, all right? You're present, you have the seven of pentacles reversed. This is kind of the same energy as the three of wands reversed. This is earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but it's again, you're not putting in any more work. You're not putting in any more effort. It's like you invested and you tried, but it there was just too much conflict or too much like jealousy, competition, whatever it was for you that you just, you're just like, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not engaging. I don't even feel like doing this shit anymore. All right, let's clarify the seven of pentacles. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Libra. Almost like, you, you know, you tried and tried and, and invested and put all this time and energy and effort into a situation and you didn't see anything good coming out of it. Like you thought that, you know, you were going to get all these benefits from a situation and you're not seeing it. So you're just kind of like, fuck it. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Libra. The four of cups reverse. All right. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The four of cups re reverse is coming out of a period of apathy which is strange because it seems like that's kind of where you're at <laughs> so it is yeah I don't think that you'll stay stuck in that forever I don't think that it's you're going to stay stuck in that for very long and I think that you're very conflicted I think you're very back and forth um with whatever situation this is for you um you know part of you wants to give up and not bother with it anymore and part of you still wants to fight for it Clarify the Four of Cups for Libra. Seven of Swords reverse. Okay. This is your energy again as well as Gemini and Aquarius. So Seven of Swords reverse is like there was some deception. Um, there was somebody being sneaky, somebody being shady here in some aspect of your life and it's coming out either someone got caught or they're confessing to something um it's like the deception whatever it was is out on the table for you if this is a love relationship for you it might have been that um someone had a lot of options and that's coming to light doesn't have to be a love reading though that's just something i had to throw in there because it's a possibility this is you know, for whatever it is in your life. I'm not sure. We'll see. Actually, let's see. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. What is this deception? Clarify the Seven of Swords for Libra. What is this deception? Queen of Wands, something having to do with a fire sign. 
Um, possibly, doesn't have to be. Hmm. Okay, so there's either like some deception around a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, possibly a female, doesn't have to be. If this is a love relationship for you, it could be that somebody was doing some shit with this type of female and it came out in the open. Um, otherwise, it's like if you're taking on this Queen of Wands energy, she is upright. So that is a definitely a good energy to have. It's being confident. It's being in your power. It's going after what you want. Um, but for that to be what the deception was that's coming out... Um, no, no. I'd maybe check into that if you're in a relationship. All right. Your immediate future, you have the Knight of Swords reverse. Your energy again, as well as Gemini and Aquarius. Now, the Knight of Swords reverse is like zero communication. And if there is communication, it sucks. Right? It's real shitty communication. Probably a bunch of fucking lies. Now, you do have this deception coming out in your present. So, I'm not sure why you would then have lies in your future. But, who knows? Whatever. Um, hold on. Sorry, I was thirsty. Um, but that's like serious communication issues. Alright? Let's clarify the Knight of Swords for Libra in the future. Clarify the seven, of, not seven of swords. We already did that. Clarify the knight of swords for Libra in the future. Two of wands, yeah. You have a decision to make. This is a crossroads. Now, when I pull this one, what I like to do is pull one for each side to see what these two paths are that you could possibly take. All right. Clarify the Two of Wands on the left. Clarify the Two of Wands on the right. Ooh, all right. So one path is this some sort of an offer. It's some sort, of, some sort of new stable offer, whether it's a new job, a new home, a new relationship, whatever it is, it is very stable. Um, it is something that you can trust. So do I take this brand new offer here? This is Earth Energy, by the way, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or do I stick around and let the tower fall? <laughs> so you can either stay in this situation that you're really conflicted over that is built on a really shitty foundation because if it wasn't, the tower wouldn't come and knock it the fuck over, right? This is Mars Energy, Aries and Scorpio, if that's relevant in your world. But you have two paths here the one leads to disaster the other one leads to something brand new something committed something you can trust something long term so there you have it guys all right your um obstacle you have the star reverse this is aquarius energy if you're dealing with an aquarius they're probably not acting right you don't have to be though so for the star reverse to come out as an obstacle it's there's some things that need healed here whether it's on your end or someone around you definitely major major healing like that's it's from the universe all right it's like a renewal rejuvenation but it's reversed and it's an obstacle so somebody is not doing that let's clarify the star what does this healing involve what is this healing all about for libra nine of swords reverse it's stress anxiety depression being up all night like really fucking going through it mentally um obviously that's something that you need to heal guys um or someone around you does somebody really close to you and um if i always feel like i have to say this when the nine of swords comes up if you're in that place where like you really can't even function because that's what that place is you're like almost non-functional right because you're that stressed and that depressed it's time for you to probably seek some therapy if that's you nothing to be ashamed of nothing to be afraid of everybody needs help sometimes okay all right your advice you have the moon reverse pisces energy but i don't think the signs are relevant in the advice position if you do then run with it um, that's the need for clarity. It's you really need to get clear with yourself what you want, 
get clear with the people around you like really look at the situation look for anything that's hidden that you might not know yet make sure everything is out on the table okay clarify the moon for libra queen of swords reversed all right um that is your energy it is reversed though so when you are getting clear about your situation or whatever is going on here, whatever this pertains to for you, um, make sure that you're not being too harsh, too critical, too judgmental, even if it's with yourself. Make sure you're not judging yourself too harshly or too critically. Um, watch your tongue, you know? Um, make sure you're not completely detached from your emotions. Like, you want to stay in balance, right? You don't want to be completely detached. Do you know what I mean? And if you're dealing with this kind of person, don't. Like, that's that's really, like, cold, detached, harsh, critical, narcissistic type of energy. You don't want to deal with that person. So if you are, obviously that's not the path you want to take. If it is, if you feel like that's a path you want to take, then, um, uh, then you probably do need some therapy. <laughs> right? Sorry. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I've been through years of it. It's fine. Um actually because I was dealing with that kind of a person so just make sure that that's not you being that way and make sure that everything everybody is being honest like there's some serious communication issues here it looks like in some area of your life that you need to get under control all right all right talk to you later guys